Thank you so much for joining me today on Just Praise Him Radio. I'm your host, Glenda Lomax, and my job is to inspire you to a closer walk with Christ. Now here's the show. Hello, believers. Welcome to the Just Praise Him radio program. I'm your host, Glenda Lomax. Happy New Year 2023, everybody. The title of my message today is, uh, this is a prophetic word review on words the Lord has given us on the mark of the beast. I have planned this show since before Christmas, but I didn't think it was a good thing to do like right before Christmas. You know, it kind of don't fit. So we're going to do it today instead. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. We live in a very serious time, and I don't know about y'all, but my thoughts are on this every single day. Our world has changed so much in America that it is almost unrecognizable already. We know the mark of the beast will be introduced before long, and we try to be ready for that, but I don't think we will ever truly be ready. The Lord has told us many things about the mark of the beast in the words he has given us. So we have some clues about what is coming, and those are what we're going to talk about today. Like the other prophetic word reviews, after I read you the words at the end of this, I will summarize the things that he's told us. It's, I don't know about y'all, but it is impossible for me to remember everything that he said to us in the words. I hope that this show will be a help to you. In the end, I don't think any of us are going to be comfortable with what's coming because we can't. We're the Christians. But if we can be aware and prepare in whatever ways he has told us, then we will at least have the comfort of knowing the layout, and that's a lot more than those who have no reverence for him will know. Okay, the first word that I'm going to read is dated March 20th, 2018, and it's called Before the End. My children, you desire to know what is coming in the end, but I tell you now that when the end comes, you will wish you could ignore what you know. The events reserved for the end for those who continue to refuse me again and again will be horrific and full of pain and misery. Each event of the end will be more intense than the one before it until at last all is destroyed. Before the end events, my people will make choices. Each person will choose whether to serve me and deny themselves or whether they will deny me and take the mark. If you take the mark, there is no turning back for you. No repentance shall be poured out upon those who choose the mark over me. I have told you what you can do to prepare for what is coming. Some of you will not be here when the events begin, but some of you will. Make your faith sure. Know what you believe. Be ready. Okay, the next word is dated July 17th, 2018, and it's called You Must Have Faith. My children, be alert for my leading. Be alert as I am leading many of you out of where you are and into new situations. These will be situations of reduced provision as I am teaching you to rely only on me. If you will follow my leading, you will enter a wilderness and be fearful for a time, but you will leave it a faith giant. As I walk with my children through the wilderness seasons in their lives... I train them to have faith. I train them until their nature is changed from unbelieving to belief. I am a great and mighty God, and I am well able to provide for all of you. But this is not possible without great faith. Your provision in what is coming will be directly proportionate to your faith in me to provide. So allow this training to come. Do not resist my leading, as this is your only hope to avoid the coming mark of the beast and not perish in the famine. Okay, the next word is called my system, and it's dated December 7th, 2018. My people, the time is coming when those who belong to the evil one 
will seek to cut you off from all that you need. The evil one seeks to remove all that is of me from the world you live in, and he has already begun. Prepare to be cut off from all you depend on, all you care about, and all you need to survive, for this is his evil plan. All those who belong to him will help him carry out this plan, and you will see clearly who they are. I have told you in my word that in this time, those who do not receive a mark in their hand or forehead will not be able to buy or sell. Those without his mark will not be able to work or to eat if their dependence is on his system. I am training my people now to live by a different system, my system. My children cannot be cut off from my system because the enemy has no power over my system. The enemy cannot stop me from providing for my own. Prepare to learn a new way to live, my children, for now is the time of preparation for those who will live this way in these times. Seek my face and be found in my word. Let my word be found abiding in you so that you may learn my system. I will be your provider. Only those who submit and continually put me first in all they do can walk in this way. Only those who obey all I say to do can walk in this way. Okay, the next word is called the beast system and it is dated October 22nd, 2019. My children, you must prepare. Much hardship is coming your way. Many of my children are unaccustomed to any kind of hardship as your lives have been blessed. My judgments are coming to the earth and some of you will be on the earth a little longer and will see some of what is coming. It is not my desire that you suffer lack or hunger. Prepare for what you know is coming. The world around you has given itself over to the beast system. All is being prepared for my son's return to the earth. Much of this is happening behind the scenes, so you are kept unaware of how far it has advanced. It has advanced far beyond what anyone believes. Only an elite few know the true details as the world is being readied to choose life or choose death. When the time comes and this system is revealed, it will seem to those who do not know me to be a wonderful thing that solves many problems and eliminates many dangers, when in truth, It is the biggest danger of all. My people will recognize it for what it is and resist. When you do, you will see their true intent is, as I have warned you, to eliminate everything and everyone who bear my name or anything of me from the earth. Be strong. Be courageous. Be willing, for I am with you. Slowly, those who create this system have been moving each part into place to receive it effortlessly when it is revealed. Already you see signs of it among you. Soon, no one without the mark will be able to buy or sell. I have warned you in my word of this time, and now it is upon you. Prepare. Prepare well and preach my gospel as long as you can, for your reward in heaven will be very great. Remember, in all you see, I am with you. Okay, this next word is called Cleanse the Idols, and it is dated May 15th, 2020. Cleanse the idols from your hearts, my children. Cleanse your hearts now that I am the only God you serve. In the times coming, many will forfeit their eternal souls and receive the mark of the beast as foretold in my holy word. Many will receive the mark that they may feed their idols, idols of husbands, of wives, of children, and grandchildren. Do you yet love them more than me? When that time comes and they cry to you for food, how will you choose? Cleanse your heart of all idols, my children, while there is yet time, for there will be no time then to consider your decision as there is now. I will be first in your heart. If I am not first, who is really your God? This next word is dated May 28th, 2020, and it's called Accelerated. My children, do not leave undone what you can do today for my kingdom. I have accelerated time again that I may bring you home more quickly. I do not desire you would suffer the things that are coming as my great wrath is poured out. My wrath is reserved for the wicked and unbelieving. It is reserved for those who worship the beast and take his mark. 
If you continue to procrastinate and leave these things undone, they will go undone for all eternity. How will you stand before me thus? How will you give account for what you did not do? How will you answer when you ignored my will? This next word is dated August 7th, 2020, and it's called, You Will See the Evil One Arise. My children, your world is about to change dramatically, and it will happen overnight. The enemy is placing people strategically in each large city now, and a takeover in power is coming. You will see the evil one arise when this happens. Your heart will want to despair when this happens as every aspect of your life becomes controlled by the enemy. They have long been planning this move and they will succeed in taking over. Be not afraid of this, for I also have long known it. The enemy will take control and the mark I warned you about in my word will be introduced. At this point, those who are truly mine will recognize it for what it is and refuse it. Those who do will be killed, but fear not, for you who are mine are coming home to me in that day. For those who accept his mark, there will be no remedy. They will go to my enemy in death, and they will never know peace or rest for all eternity. My children, stay in my word, that it may be written on your heart on the day this enemy takes it away from the world. For that will be all the words you have in that time. Set your hearts to remain faithful to me and endure whatever comes and not deny me. Set your hearts to lay down your life for my name's sake as I laid mine down for you. You are coming home. Okay, this next word is dated October 5, 2020, and it's called Great Danger. My children, prepare your hearts for what is soon coming. All I have foretold in my holy word has begun, as you are already aware. Consider what this means for you. I have warned you there are many losses coming in each life. You may see some of those you love most pass from your world, but fear not, for if they know me, They will be safe here in my care. Those of you who have remained in unions not of me, your partners will not understand what is happening in the world, and they will not understand how to react spiritually. This is a great danger to you. As when the evil one arises soon and introduces his evil mark, they will see no problem in taking it. Some will even believe they must in order to feed their little ones. Yet if your faith in me is strong, I shall feed them for you. When you are cast out, I shall take you in and shelter you myself. You must know, my children, that those who take his mark are not only lost, they will hate all that is mine and will severely persecute them. Murder shall be planted in their hearts and you will not be safe. They will quickly deliver you up to be killed. You must prepare now for this time is coming soon. Okay, this next word is a pretty long one. It's dated October 28, 2020. It's called the time of Esau. From time to time, the Lord gives me glimpses of what is coming to the earth so I can warn others. I was thinking about our world in my quiet time with the Lord early that morning, and I began to sense strongly the season we have entered. Impressions began coming rapidly, and I began seeing scenes in the spirit, and I began typing what I was seeing. I felt a deep sense of sadness rise up in my spirit with these scenes. The sadness started days ago, and I had wondered why it was there. A time of great darkness and much lack is at our doorsteps. A time so desperate, unlike anything we have experienced here in America. A time of no jobs, no entertainment, and no joy. The closest I can think of to compare it with, to compare it to, is the Great Depression. But even in the Great Depression, there was celebration here and there. In this dark time, I see none of that. I am shown he has arranged for all else to be taken away, so we have only him to focus on. It is his mercy, but it will feel like anything but mercy. I see cold, bone-chilling cold, and no softly lit lamps, warm hearths and quilts to keep us warm. I see flavored water instead of hearty stew to eat in the cold. I see very little light, and what is there is very dim, and the spiritual light is the same. I see people sitting still in their houses like they are waiting for something, and I see desperation on their faces. No one seems to be moving around or going any place, and I am not shown why. Is it because they are cold? Or are they being held prisoner somehow? And I realize I see no children. 
I don't see a single person under the age of 20 in these scenes. Where did all the children go? Why is no one smiling? Not a single smile in any of the scenes. And I wonder if the bride has been taken out, and I think she has. I see violence, raping, and pillaging when people already have nothing. I see there are still a few who have wealth, and I see them guarding it jealously, for it is their God. Nothing frightens them more than losing their wealth. I see parents eating the last of the food in their kitchens as their starving children sleep. Everyone is starving. What few pets I see still here are suffering and nearly dead of starvation. Everyone everywhere seems to be starving. What has happened to all the food? This is a dark time indeed. I see people walking the roads looking for anything, anywhere to eat, but I see military trucks telling them to go back to their houses. And by the way, military trucks indicate either martial law or war has come. Then I see a smile, but it is an evil one. One of those, either you obey or I will kill you kind of smiles. And I see some of the people live in the woods now because they have no houses. They did not have the money to keep them. I see no television newscast. There doesn't seem to be any television programming anymore. It may be there's no more electricity. Maybe that is why the lights are so dim. I don't know if war is going on. I hear only quiet. And there is no government anymore. What happened to our government? I can't see our capital anymore. I wonder if our country has been attacked and taken over by communists. This is what the atmosphere feels like. Very heavy, oppressive, forced, like we have been forced into this situation. No wonder all hope is gone. I try to see Hollywood and all I can see is there are no movies being made. Closer to home, I also don't see any sports being played, not even high school or college sports. I am not shown why. In fact, I don't see any school. I see cold, despair, and hopelessness everywhere. No one is talking about any future. No one is smiling. America is no longer the land of hope and dreams. It has become a land of desperation. I see a few people trying to talk quietly to the suffering about the Lord, but people are very angry at God. They are blaming Him for everything. The fact that they are trying to talk quietly makes me think witnessing has been outlawed. I don't see anyone sitting and reading their Bibles, and the churches are all shuttered. I see a few of the younger men getting fed up with the situation and saying, I'm going to join the army, at least there I can eat. And their wives and families are begging them not to, saying it's a death sentence. Y'all, I'm sorry if you can hear the fireworks. It's New Year's Eve. This is the time of Esau, a time when many will trade their souls for a bowl of soup. This is the time when we will literally choose between our flesh and our spirit. Feed your flesh or preserve your soul. And in that time when the mark comes out, I hear people Satan has lied to saying, obviously there is no God. Since this is happening, I'm going to get some food. But feed your flesh or feed your spirit is the silent question that will be posed to each of us when the mark of the beast is introduced. Tell my people, daughter, tell my people I am their only hope. Tell them to draw near to me now so they will be spared from what you are seeing. It is those who refuse me who will suffer this fate. Those who refuse me and refuse my correction will be corrected by much harsher measures as I raise up enemies against every wicked nation that does not acknowledge me as the one true God, for I will give their lands into the hands of their enemies. Okay, this next word is dated February 1, 2021, and it's called All is Prepared. Late Friday night, I was winding down and trying to give my mind a rest from the stress and chaos we have, we all have endured for many months now, when my spirit began sensing the future. I saw coming in the not-too-distant future a time of great and widespread grief, deep, intense grief. Many of us grieve already because we have just watched democracy in America crushed and left bleeding in the dirt by a pack of blatantly dishonest thieves. But what I saw coming is the type of grief you feel when someone you really love has died. It is a terrible and, and intense grief. What is it I see coming, Lord? What could cause millions of people to grieve so deeply at the same time? And I see there is fear along with the grief. It may be we have seen our loved ones take the marker, 
It may be seeing so many killed in persecution. It may be our lives have become nearly unbearable due to the new laws they pass. Everyone encounters grief sooner or later, but what you see, my daughter, is altogether different. It is weeping and wailing because all that is good has gone from the earth. And those who have denied me have seen me come and take my own from the earth. They mourn because they have realized too late where their eternal destiny will lie. This is why I have urged my children to pray diligently for the lost and for their lost loved ones. Weep and wail, fast and cry out to me for those you love, my children, that I may save them quickly before it is too late. Intercede, declare my word, pray without ceasing. For their souls are precious in my sight and you will enjoy them here for all eternity if they are saved. You do not realize just how close my return is. All is prepared for your arrival here. I am coming back soon. Okay, the next word I'm going to read is dated April 5, 2021, called Can You Believe? The evil ones are starting to put their plan into place against my people now. They will place restrictions on you, my people, but remain calm. They plan to take your health care, but I am your healer. They plan to restrict your food supply, but I am your provider. They plan to leave you nowhere to run, no way out, but I always make a way where there is no way. Do not despair when you see these things happening, my children, for they heap judgment up for themselves if they do not repent, and they can only take what they control. They do not control me, and I am your source for all you need. When they take away your access to food, some who are kind in heart will do their best to help you, for which they will be greatly rewarded. The evil ones will see this, and then the beast's mark will be implemented. This is their goal, even now, and they will make excuses to justify their evil plan. Do not fear when this happens. I fed my people Israel in the desert, and I am well able to feed you. I am your source for all you need. Can you believe me for all you need? Okay, this word is dated December 1, 2021. It's called Those Among You. My children. Prepare for a special kind of grief coming in the time of the mark of my enemy for you. You know that extraordinarily difficult times are upon all my people in this decade on the earth. My people will, out of necessity, begin to unite and band up, gather into groups. This will allow you to go on witnessing of me a little longer, but the persecution will be very severe and violent in the time upon you. In the time of the mark of my enemy, there will be those among you who cannot endure the pressure, who cannot endure the discomforts upon them. This is why I have continually told you to pray for one another, that you be strengthened to endure. When the strength of these is very small, they will give in to the pressure and receive the mark of my enemy. Some of these will be those close to you and some of those you love. My people know what the consequences of trading your birthright for a bowl of porridge is in eternity. I tell you these things that you would pray more fervently for all those you know and those you don't. All of those among you are not strong. All are not determined. Many are not prepared for what they will see or what they must endure to reach the end. For this reason, you must continually lift each other up and pray in that time. Pray without ceasing in this time as well, my children, for although I am coming back soon, this will not be good news to many. Okay, this word is dated February 2, 2022, and it's called I Will Recompense. It was just after my prayer time one morning recently when in the spirit I heard a bell ring, and for no apparent reason, it made me think of America's Liberty Bell. Then I heard mournful music like you would hear at a funeral, and I realized I was hearing America's freedoms die in my spirit. Minutes later, the Lord had a message for us. This will be a difficult time for you, my children. For those who have allowed my refining, it will be less difficult as you have become more easily adaptable. Your freedoms are being snatched away before your very eyes. The enemy of your souls plots to oppress you until you give in and deny me. He will attempt this first by attempting to confine you for the greater good. Much as he confined my people years ago. Then he will take from you all he can take away in an attempt to make you give up and surrender your will to his. If you surrender, he wins your soul and you are his forever. 
Let no man deceive you, my children, that there is no repentance or salvation for those who yield their wills to the enemy in this way. Those who yield will receive the mark that he owns them. Resisting will be a struggle as he will have power to withhold all you need to survive. Food, water, shelter, work. But resist you must in order to be saved. Only those who endure to the end will be saved. My children must be very vigilant in this time. Know I am with you in all you face, and I shall recompense all your suffering with great wrath. Nothing happens to my children I do not see. This next word is dated February 8th, 2022, and it's called Without Hope. My children, where is your joy? Where is your strength? So many of you are downcast, discouraged. Your faces look hopeless. Do you not see what is happening? Do you not know the enemy of your souls has issued this assignment against you? As my holy word is being fulfilled now, the enemy of your souls knows soon his mark will be introduced. He has issued assignments against you to wear you down, to crush your hope, your courage, and then your resistance, that he may claim your souls. Your enemy knows if you have no hope, you have little strength to resist anything else he sends your way. In the time when his mark is introduced, many will capitulate and take it, thinking it is not really what it is, that it does not make a difference to their souls, and that they will be able to eat, be not found among those, my children, for you are no longer mine if you do this. You live in the last days before my return. In this time, the battles will be unlike any before them. The persecution will also be like any before it, as new methods to persecute now exist. But consider this, my mighty power will be shown like never before as well, and you will be the instruments it is shown through in the earth. I will do many mighty miracles to help the unbelievers of your time believe that that you may lead them to salvation, my children. Rejoice in your salvation. Set your faces like flint and set your hearts to endure no matter what comes. This word is called No Matter the Cost, and it's dated February 25, 2022. My children, in this time you are entering, the enemy will prevail over you for a season. It will not be pleasant. Know that it is the ultimate test of your faith, and the rewards are very, very great for my children who endure through this for any length of time. The enemy seeks to make you deny your faith in me and to go along with the wicked who will rule. In this time, they will take first one thing and then another from you until you have nothing left except yourselves and your faith in me. They will try to make you give that up too. Hold on to your faith and do not deny me no matter the cost, for there is no going back from this. There is no repentance for denying me. If you deny me, that is your final answer. No matter how much longer you live, And you will not spend eternity with me by being tormented by your enemy, though you seek me with tears afterwards. Set your face like flint now to endure, for your salvation depends on it. This will not be easy, as they will take everything from you, trying to make you give up your salvation. They will persecute you night and day. They will do violence against you and kill many of you. Do not fear this, but rejoice, for great is your reward when you die in this way. Set your hearts to endure and do not deny me no matter what you see, no matter the cost, no matter what they take from you or deny you access to. If you deny me, you lose your salvation. Next word is called, Who Will You Serve? And it's dated May 31, 2022. My children are unaware of how bad the world will soon become before my return. As your economy fails, will you still choose me to serve? As war comes to your land and many die or starve, will you still choose me to serve? When what little money you have, will you still choose to serve me? As family members turn and attack each other for survival, will you still call me Lord? When new leaders emerge passing laws against you where you can no longer eat without selling your soul, am I still your God? Who will you choose to serve when all your comforts have been removed, children? Are you sure of your answer? When I cannot answer your prayers, will you still love me as you do now when I can? Who will you choose on that day when they take all away if you do not receive the mark of my enemy? 
Once you choose against me, there can be no returning to me. Then you will belong to Satan. Okay, that's the last word that I have to read to you. Now, the mark, as we talked about earlier, gives the right to buy or sell. And the lack of it in that time takes those rights away. Won't be able to buy anything, won't be able to pay for anything, won't be able to sell anything. We have been told in the words that they will kill those who refuse the mark as they are trying to create a world without our God, period. In order to remove him, they must remove us. Revelation thirteen sixteen says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. In order to be the mark the Bible speaks of, this mark, and it is an actual mark if you research it, must be, number one, required in order for you to buy or sell, and number two, given either in the right hand or in the, the forehead, because that's what the Bible says. Anything not meeting those criteria is not the actual mark. Okay, now let me summarize, according to the words the Lord has given us so far, what we know. The mark is a means to control all mankind everywhere. It's going to be worldwide. And it is designed to eliminate God's people from the earth by killing us when we refuse to take it. The enemy will be allowed to prevail over us for a time. As Revelation 13, 7 says, It was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them, and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. This will be a worldwide leader. For those who take the mark, there is no repenting. Their souls are eternally condemned to be with Satan. Revelation 14, starting in verse 9, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. The mark is a system being quietly put into place behind the scenes that only a few elite know the details of. Let me clarify, it is a mark, okay? It is an actual mark that goes on your body if you take it, but it is a system they're going to use to bring it forward and to get everybody to take it that will take it. When this system is introduced, it will seem to those who do not know God to be a wonderful thing that solves many problems and eliminates many dangers though it is the biggest danger of all. Just as Satan disguises himself as an angel of light, so he will disguise the mark that he may steal many souls who take it at face value. Events in the time of the mark and onward will get more and more intense until all is destroyed. This is designed to cause unbelievers to cry out to God to save them. The people who continue to refuse God are the ones who will still be here in that horrible time. Many will capitulate and take the mark in that time to eat or to feed their loved ones. Many will capitulate and take it because they cannot bear the discomforts forced on them if they do not take it. A takeover in power is coming, and we will see the evil one rise when this happens. And he's the one who brings out the mark, okay? Everything will, in, and I suspect that, I think that's the, um, I don't know if he's one of the beasts or he is the Antichrist, or maybe they're the same, I don't really know. Everything will then change dramatically and every aspect of our lives will become controlled by the enemy. Then the mark will be introduced. This evil one will outlaw the word of God. It will not be allowed in any form after this happens. I've seen this for years, decades. When this happens, anything on your house that has a scripture on it, um, any book you have that quotes a scripture, all of that is gone, 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 gone. Okay, that's all going away. All right, they're going to take it and they'll probably go house to house to make sure you don't have it, especially if you're a known Christian. Okay, the people who take the mark will begin to hate all that is of God and will severely persecute God's people because God's spirit will leave them when they take the mark and all that will be left in them is evil. Okay, if you are married to someone who takes the mark, this is serious, y'all. Okay, this is why he warned all of us years ago not to be in unions, not of him. Okay, we are to make our faith sure, as there will not be time to do that then. Plus, they'll take the word away, probably 
I mean, I don't know how long after that, but when they take the word away, how are you going to do that? Our provision in that time will be directly proportionate to our faith. That's important. Only those who know God as their provider will be able to walk at all in that time. There are going to be great, great rewards for anybody who walks even a little bit of that time, okay? We are to continue preaching the gospel and witnessing to people for as long as we can. I want to encourage you tonight that although we can see the writing on the wall that we are probably living in the time the mark will come out, God did say this decade, so we may have a few more years. It has not come out yet, so we still have a little bit more time, okay, to make our faith sure, to witness to people, to pray for our loved ones and all that, Do and to pray for people we don't know who may not have anybody to pray for their souls. Do not let what is coming take away your courage or your peace today. It does not help. The Lord wants us witnessing, and fear is a bad witness. Our joy and love are great witnesses. Besides, we are the lucky ones, y'all. We're going to heaven. I feel so bad for people who are going to be left here. Redeem the time that is left to you. Work while it is still day, because the night is coming when no one can work. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Jesus already overcome all the evil that we will ever see, and he's coming back for us soon. That's all I have for y'all this week. Jesus bless you. Thanks for listening. Y'all have a great week. Thank you so much for tuning in today to Just Praise Him Radio. You can contact me by mail at my new address, JPH Inc., Glenda Lomax, P.O. Box 239, Turkey Creek, Louisiana, 705 or by email at jph today, that's j p h t o d a y at gmail.com. JPH is not affiliated with any nonprofit organization, church, or denomination.